Hello, friends. Welcome back. Yeah, welcome back to the Reboot Review, colon. It's Alphanumeric. Alphanumeric. I'm Robin. I'm Katie. And today we're going to be watching When Games Collide. Woohoo! Yeah. So, um, do, do you remember much about this episode? Is this one that kind of comes back to you at all? Um, I remember the premise, but I don't really remember how they filled the full, like, 22 minutes. So. With it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess this one will be a rediscovery. And, like, I'm pretty much ready to jump right back into this uh, episode here. Just the one thing I will note is that I've mentioned my thought experiment before, where I like to imagine games from the user's perspective. And this is absolutely the most extreme example of that, I think, in the whole series of just how trippy that gets. Coming back to our lazy, lazy, lazy loser, loser user. <laughs> That's right. We haven't yeah. used that term in a long time. No, we got to bring it back. Keep yeah, it fresh. True. Yeah. Or not keep it fresh, not actually. Keep, yeah, not like think of stale, anything new. And then, yeah. <laughs> yes. But it's true, like, what person in their right mind would keep a computer that did that? <laughs> That's doing this stuff. And what is this stuff? Well, let's find out, starting now. I come from the net. And actually, I think, because I was scrubbing through this and to test that it was the episode place. that I was thinking of, Main we were friend. talking before about, like, how, My oh, format, they didn't change the credits. Guardian. I thought they changed the, the credits. And the but this is to season two. My newfound yes, friend. that clip of, like, Their Bob being angry. Like, this dreams. is all... Um, them so they did change the credits. Enemies. They just didn't change it until episode three. Where they're like, spoilers! <laughs> yeah, all right, we'll hold off on that. Yeah, I'll, maybe they didn't want us to see Enzo in, or, like, dot in the exoskeleton. I don't, but yeah, this is all right, there it season. Is. I'm actually wondering if it's something about this DVD release. Oh. Like, maybe this edition of the DVD, the way they packaged it, uh, they accidentally packaged the first two episodes of season two with the season one credits when they didn't mean to. Because I'm pretty sure I remember these new credits from the start of the season. Really? I feel like no I, I do. Like, sure. I feel like I, I did the whole, like, watching second season out. begin and being like, whoa, really? new clips, exciting. I know Blam, how important wow. that is for kids. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Rem I I personally do not remember. But yeah, I didn't know that that could be a mistake made by a DVD packaging. Yeah, I mean it could. It might just depend on how things are packaged and delivered to them. So yeah, yeah. We'll have to find out. No one knows for sure. sure. <laughs> but we might possibly, possibly find find out, out or we'll just speculate sure. endlessly, yeah. which is more of our way. Yes. Yeah. True. Oh man, now this setting right here reminds me of those YTV interstitials of the 90s. Oh, Speaking yes. of which, anyone Jan who was watching... Hammer. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of a tangent here. Anyone who was watching Reboot on YTV in the mid-90s would probably remember these really tricked out interstitials. I don't know if tricked out is the word here, but like just trippy. very trippy. <laughs> yeah interstitials with this like super new agey type music and it turns Follow out me. the music for those closer. interstitials uh, was composed by Jan Hammer, Jan Hammer? Maybe? I, I, I would be Jan. It could be Jan. It's J-A-N. Yes. Yes. Hammer. Who is the Hammer? The Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Who is very well known um, as okay. the well, composer for... One, two, three! Oh, jeez, which, which classic 80s TV series? Is it, is it Miami Vice? This is it was Miami Vice. No, nope. it, it was supposed to be a quiz to find out who was listening and who might find out the answer and say it in the comments. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, missed opportunity. It. Yeah. Miami Vice. But the Miami Vice um, no soundtrack Pull actually has some pretty, us. like, you know, sort of this famous. It's gonna be a tough one. Like, yeah, right. Pieces of music to it, like it was really well known and very highly regarded when it was on the air. So, um, anyway, that was a complete tangent. That was fairly reboot unrelated, but that setting in that game was very reminiscent of those white engagements. We should look them up. I went down memory yeah. lane once and looked them up. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. It is a trip. It is a trip down memory lane for sure. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah, and then Katie also, like, at some point yes. downloaded all the music. And, yes, yeah. Legally. I feel like this is the first time we've seen Hatton Slash in action this season, isn't it? Yes. yes. I think we have not seen Oh, the push the button thing is very, like, classic Hatton Slash. <laughs> Thank you. 
And this like quasi organic bleachy thing also has Brendan McCarthy's fingerprint all over it, I think. Yes. Yeah. Totally yeah. designed. Yes. Yeah. Ah, excellent. Huh. But you know, it makes me realize too, like when you have a virus on your computer, like one of the What's first things to go is your game. It's like, true. Your game act is always so much slower and choppy. Yeah, and like, this, is, this is clearly just an example Something of ordinary lag. Yeah, yeah like exactly. if you're playing no as the user, it's out. like, oh man, the frame rate's so gone like way there. down. I need a new computer. No yeah. way, I have no job. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lazy Better loser up. user. And like that might seem a little weird, but you know, we're still we're still rolling with it. We still got our suspension just really going on here. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a slow computer. Yeah. I do wonder what like the inspiration for that game was though, because there were so many like weird overlapping in like future ruins. Yeah. Uh, it's just like, wow, who, like, what were they thinking of what when they came game? up with, yeah, right. Yeah, it's true. And like huh? the weird alien did you creatures that they were playing. The yeah. Second. As a matter of Chrome fact, thing. I did pick up an energy drain just before the game ended. Thanks, Fong. I've got another call coming through. I am, sir. Trouble here at the archives. Uh, I think you should see this. I'll be right there. Do you get the feeling this is all somehow connected? Let's go and find out. That's the laggy game, guys. Hey, yeah, this happens all the time in your virus-infected system. Yeah, you could have gotten rid of Megabyte. <laughs> you didn't. Hey, Bob, what are games like in the supercomputer? Huh. Well, they're a lot faster and a lot harder. Some games are networked, too. You mean more than one mainframe? That's right, Enzo. Oh, and we're there already thinking about networked out there than you can imagine. Yeah. It's funny, you, you realize, like, it's kind of a seamless transition from Dot being, you know, the, like, owner of a business establishment to being kind of in charge of stuff. Yeah, like, it's, that's true. Work? Like, she's, like, the, the like she was the person they called when there was problems at the archives. That, and she, aside from Sprite seniority, that which we've already discussed, <laughs> right? yes, of course. what's Friends the motivation for that? But I like the fact that You'll she's see. kind of, like, just in? a de facto leader in the town. Right. Yeah. I'm Enter. not sure. Yeah, again, because maybe there's no one else, but yeah. State. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Dot matrix. <laughs> They're like, well, you can't Dot be Bob. matrix. <laughs> no. Voice analysis confirmed. He's definitely not responsible enough for that. I guess he's like more like an elected official. Like, just because like she's the business owner and then she's like, I want to save everyone. Like, because the yeah. end of identity crisis. You know? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, that's true. Identity crisis and was her sort of the, the, the her beginning of her well, turn to like yeah. the political life and to civic leadership, right? Yeah, so they probably just began to put more faith and trust in her exactly, because yeah. she seemed to take control. Wow. Oh, and the first time we see the archives, this comes back. Yeah. Ma'am, sir. What happened? It looks like you took quite a jolt. We don't know. It all happened during the game. We almost lost the security field. What? Our security field power is second only to the mainframe core. He's right, Dot. The security field suffered a huge blow. The compression waves are registering 0.8. That's impossible. I don't know what that means. No. The mainframe can generate more power than the core. I mean, core. it sounds pretty serious since well, Bob has this blingy did. little... We have to find oh, out what... Oh, his kegel has like a little... It opens yeah. up and there's like a little... Um, like a wind thing. <laughs> yeah, like a wind thing. Hold it off, Gav. If we'd I was only like, had a little bit more juice, we'd have been through. Excellent. I'll see what I can do for you. Hack, slash. Yes, sir! Right That's us. What were they looking at? <laughs> a bug. Yeah, probably, actually. Next game? A bug. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm so funny. <laughs> no problem. I didn't do it on purpose. Oh. No. Good. Now and I picked it up carefully. way more slowly the than I should have. next game cube hits, I want you to set the leech command to maximum drain. Why didn't I we do that the first time? It's yeah. a good energy. point. I think it was all or nothing, it, maybe. Yeah. Get into those archives. Now 
Nice transition. Don't. That was a good one. I think I'm gonna go check up on our old friend Megabyte. All right, be careful. I'm gonna stay here and help realign the archives. Well, how do they know to like eavesdrop on that? Is, this, is the doctor holding the stethoscope oh, up to the screen? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> You'll be fine. Oh, that's great. I have a screen sentient? You're more valuable. <laughs> now right that would so open up a lot of questions perimeter. that I don't know if, if I'm comfortable addressing. Yeah, sure well, it's it all sister, about okay? that hierarchy. Yes. Yeah, it's yes, it's really very call. important. Yeah. <laughs> Did they bark? Oh, he's <laughs> no, okay. no, the thing that you would expect to bark, it just bark. But the thing is, with this show, I wouldn't true. be surprised yeah. if that was them barking for some reason. <laughs> Or yeah, because they do use a lot of weird random foley sound effects yes. for things. Yeah, it's very true. Hurry up. I want everything ready as soon as we've broken through. He's always building freaking Stargates. It's one of the go-to <laughs> things here. That's a little detail that I don't know if it read that well. Like the 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 weaver sort of juddering and the thing crashing down. Like yeah, sort of a moment where you're like, is, is that supposed to mean something? Like was something really going on there? Yeah, I just filling that, yeah. time or creating atmosphere or indicating that Igor is not terribly competent. <laughs> yes. Like, why did we hire this guy? Okay? He's not wearing proper he just, footwear for the job. He just comes as a package with Air Doctor. That's right. Awesome. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. You get one, you get the other. All right, Megabyte. Let's see what you're up to. Warning, incoming game. Warning, incoming Two game. games in one nanosecond. Oh, must be Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's probably trying a new game to see if it will load. Oh, that better. makes a lot of sense. Yeah, he's like, oh man, that game was so laggy. Yeah. yeah. Wow, look at the user actually using some smarts. Yeah, there yeah. we go. No delays! Maximum drain! I heard the boss. Right away! Okie dokie. Oh, yeah, basically. <laughs> I should quit. What? Right? That would make sense, but I'm just gonna see how this plays. Yeah. <laughs> or I guess maybe he can't quit. Maybe he can't. Oh, you know it's fro it's like frozen, right? Yeah, yeah. Phone, yeah. what's going on? The game's running out of power. Oh no, the GameCube. Why can't Which you see the leech crash. on top of it? That's a good point. We can't see it either. It's like, it's cloaked. Nor can we see Hack and Flash. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd they go? It's going to be pretty obvious. Game yeah, the thing looks pretty confirmed. big. Manual restart. Oh no! This is terrible! The user has downloaded another game! That's not a restart. Yeah, that's just... Unless it was like they restarted the computer... In the midst of what? the game, so clearly the old game froze. Okay, I'm yeah. following okay. it so far. It's frozen. They, yeah, they and they're like, ah, oh, dang. So Let's... they're like just somehow loading, like hard restarting and loading in a new game. Okay, guys, here's where <laughs> I start to wonder what this user is doing <laughs> because it's not like you just started a new game and the new game isn't working. You started a new game, and instead of dinosaurs, you have pterodactyl fighter jets. Right. Cool. And and he's like, um, I can get behind it. Right. Like, this is what happens when computers get slow. Right, no, yeah. Right. Like this everything all my games start to merge together. This makes Clearly. Sense. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, come on, move out. Yeah, I have to like if I put myself in their situation. What would I do? Would I just keep much trying energy. to play it? And that's exactly I what this, like, the user's just going with it. With yeah, like, the user's, like, military like dinos. I don't remember Sweet. buying this game. Right? <laughs> just stay out of my way I guess, I, I guess he did say, downloaded a new game, which could have meant either starting a new game or, like, Run for like, it. 
downloading a new game they had bought, so maybe they thought they had just bought dinosaurs, and they were like, oh, it's tank dinosaurs. Yeah, army dino. Yeah. And then forever, that's pretty cool, after I guess. this day, he's like, where's that game I don't know? <laughs> it was the best just... game I've ever played. <laughs> I don't believe But, like, who... Who starts Megamite's playing what they think is going to be the dinosaur the game and has merged with cool. their old army game? And it's just like, well, this is the game I'm playing now, and I can, I can just only imagine that this person is like very high. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, sure, cool, cool. This, this is fun enough. Right. Come on. And I guess it's, it's, Let's push it over. No, the, the, the dinosaur is a game sprite, I'm pretty sure. It's not the user. Or is it the user? I don't even know what's happening anymore. I actually anymore. have no idea. <laughs> That's a really good point. Like, it's, it's a very cool premise, but as soon as you stop... I always love this. Yeah. But, like, Megabyte's just letting him do it. Like, I love Megabyte being afraid. Yes. I like I, Megabyte right. being in fear. When the bad guys rare thing. team up. Yeah, so yeah. It becomes certain death. It's a great trope. And when the bad guy just throws the good guy out of the way like he's a rag doll, because he's like, no, let me. Come on. Oh, oh, my way. oh, oh <laughs> once that team up didn't last very long. <laughs> Maybe that is the user. You know, we had no mentioned too that the user oh. might have been a kid. No hard That's Salah. true. Identity exactly. So maybe this kid isn't really thinking. Maybe this kid has totally busted up this computer that he got for Christmas. <laughs> he's just, just like, like, I don't know. This sure, this is what it's supposed to be doing. It's the '90s. <laughs> games are weird. Pretty much. Yeah, it's the '90s. Games are weird. Should have been the title of this episode. <laughs> I just dropped in. Actually, it's the 90s games are weird. Could have been the subtitle of this whole series. That's true. <laughs> Very true. Yeah, I think this is the user. Yeah. In which case, like, uh oh. That's pretty cool. Is like a video game where you play as the dinosaur. Looks like, like the T-Rex ravaging that would be other out. smaller dinosaurs and humanoids. And yeah, humanoids that madness. were not supposed you to be in your game, but somehow are. To save a virus? I'm afraid so. Guess I can't go against my programming. What is your programming? I thought it was to get rid of viruses. <laughs> 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 this seems like the perfect opportunity. <laughs> Although I guess, yeah, the, when I think about that in Season 4 of Bob, it's like, okay, so I guess the Season 4 Bob doesn't necessarily come completely out of nowhere. He still always sort of believed in not letting Megabyte this. die in Take front of him. Closer. Right, but, but if he were to just die, he'd be like, oh, oh well, well bye, Megabyte. Yeah, like, <laughs> just kind of letting it happen by omission is very different from actively yes, doing it yourself. But even still, he's like, nope, I can't even just let him get destroyed in this game. Say, doing nothing is Come the same on, as doing something. We've got to warn Dot. Something. The fire <laughs> Sounds right. <laughs> it's still doing Too something. Late for that, my son. That's what oh, they nice, teach you. Nice texturing on the balaclava. The, the color of the balaclava had like embroidery on it or something. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah there's, there's, there's like detailing on there. Look at them. Nice. Look at that. That's nice. Thanks, guys. Nice that they thought of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny how, like, the way you do notice those little, little details, especially in Season 2, I'm noticing way more. Yeah. They put so much of it in, right? Although the thing is, if, like, Hold Megabyte... I'm going in. If Megabyte, like, quote-unquote, dies in the game, but Bob still wins the game, doesn't oh. that mean he still... I guess that's what he's doing. But they sort of play it up as like this tension thing. Like, oh no, Megabyte's going to die if Bob doesn't do something. But like, really, doesn't the GameCube just disappear right? and everyone's yeah, not in all fun? Yes. I've got that's some a good point. News. What happens if someone Megabyte dies in the game, an old but, game but you win the game? Win the game. He used game I don't know if we ever addressed that. Drill through the archive security oh. perimeter. Of course. Have I game never thought of that before? Yeah. Okay, this is one where we really want to hear people. Like, people's opinions of what's going on here. I'll meet you there. I feel like they might address it at some point. Yeah. It feels like almost like they do. It seems like the kind of thing they would have thought about. Or maybe this was them addressing it. Maybe this <laughs> yeah, was them being like, if Megabyte dies in the game, he dies in real life. 
Well, I'm thinking back to the very first episode, like in the space where the race, race established. One. Like the first episode of the very like first season where they're like in the space race. Like the, yeah. And like I feel like Careful. some the of gateway the command is spaceships to the explode with, fragile. with yeah with binos in them. them. Yeah. But the, oh, but I also a lot of the time when like stuff would explode, you would see binomes like crashing safely right, to with the, the ground. Safety net. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 This is definitely a story. Oh, I like that it like reads it like a disc. This one. <laughs> At last. An open door I never realized their doctor did so much not talking. I like it's just like, it slows me, maybe that's because like, that's the only thing he has to say. Well, maybe he had like a specific voice actor. Well, okay, yeah, who was he? Yeah, who's Air Doctor? I'm sure I wrote that one right. Air Doctor is... Come on, this don't fail me now. I would have... Who is it? Come on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. No, it's, it's Gary oh, Talk. Oh. Who's like a ton of characters. Right. Sir, oh, and there he is. He's he's right. Okay. But you know that what? He's not a main character, so maybe they just didn't feel like giving him right, the main That could be. Time yeah, for yeah. You to test out my portal for me. If it works, you'll be transported to the supercomputer. If it doesn't. <laughs> and okay. so is so on board with this, yeah. <laughs> See what I'm thinking about the ear? Okay, no, it's the collar. Like, yes, that'd be painful. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. What's going on down there? Glitch, view scope. <laughs> What's going on down there? Just a parachute. Oh well, here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just totally game. It's it's he is. it's. Well, it's just amazing how much, like, you can see Matrix in Enzo. Enzo! Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, like, they did a pretty good job aging him up. She oh, like, with, with just a little angst. With just a little bit of angst thrown in there, because I feel like what Matrix became in a lot of ways is not that far off of what Enzo would have been regardless. <laughs> yes, I think so. There it is. There's a lot of, like... He's slow bits that are just sound in this episode I'm noticing. It, yeah, it's, it's funny, they're just kind of filling it up. Yeah. Hack, slash, stop bomb. Yeah, it's interesting when I think about the pacing and plotting of this episode, how when games collide, the title makes me think that the central aspect of the episode is when they're in the game, and the games are mixed. Little of it. Yeah, there's actually relatively little of that. Like, you think, like, that's the whole big plot device of the episode, is that they're like, oh, what would happen if you combined two games? Maybe they also realized how little sense it made and decided not to lean into it. Right. Um, it's just a, an interesting idea. Yeah. But, like, they spend relatively little time in the game for it being a game-centric episode. Yeah, it's, it's you know, funny that way. Yeah, Enzo, It's like the games are, are serving right? more as like ways to forward the plot as opposed to the be-all end-all. I right, saw of the it. Super computer. I guess there's only so much you can do uh, with the guys? idea of the game. It, yeah, I think that's just it. Is I think after season one they found like the whole you owe me one megabyte. The game being the point. Let them go. Wasn't gonna carry them that part. And this is great too. Like again, you always love the whole thing where it's like, yeah, the villain has some kind of honor. You've got a negotiating chip there. Now we are even, Guardian. Now we are even. I can go back to trying to kill that child. <laughs> circle. What's that called when it the circle oh, the blackout? The iris. Is that what's called? Uh, I think it's an iris. I forget. I forget. Adds a degree of levity. Yeah, that's true. Team. That's true. Like classic villain hijinks. I had a thought. Yes. Okay, here's my thought. Yes. So, as kids, we see Megabyte. All he ever wants to do is get to the supercomputer. Yes. And spread out and destroy and all this stuff. But I think about viruses and how, in a normal computer situation, yeah, like in real life, yeah. The whole point is to spread your virus to yeah. a computer, and the virus doesn't really care about spreading itself to other computers that much. It just comes in and 
well, breaks up I your think computer. when it's your computer, that's maybe how you see it. But I, I do think the point of computer viruses is self-propagating. Yeah, I guess they do make more. Yeah. But I always imagine that they get into your computer, computer and, and then, then it's like wreak yeah. havoc and in think, your computer. I think there are some that are like that, and maybe that's because like I, people that's your design viruses. viruses. <laughs> yeah, like, well, people design bi- viruses for different purposes, and the, they're the ones that are supposed to proliferate as much as possible. But I've sort of something that they I, I'd forgotten about, but they mentioned in later seasons, and I was reminded of this rewatching the series, is that hexadecimal is that kind of virus. Hexadecimal is a virus that's been uploaded to your computer or downloaded pure, like it was just some kid, some punk kid who designed a virus that was just going to mess with your system and play bi- like mind games right. on you. That's okay. And, and that so that's now. hex, but megabyte is the type of virus that's like trying to like proliferate okay. and I get that. Yeah, I, just, I guess too. Yeah. When you think about like when you share a link on something and, and like you share it to all your friends on some random yeah and i think there there are viruses that the first thing they do is they use your computer's resources in order to like make more fish for another yeah computer to send a virus to right like there are viruses that mind you i'm I'm able to give modern viruses right we're like one step away from everywhere it's true yeah yeah fight for the good children who are listening to this podcast (laughs) i mean podcast youtube video thing yeah pod Vid. Audio commentary. Yeah, that's what it is. Audio, Audio commentary. commentary. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any last comments on when games collide? Um, yeah, if very standard, I guess. And yeah. kind of weird. But again, a lot more all over the place than I sort of recalled it being or expected it to be. Yeah. Um, first introduction of the archives as a plot device. Yeah. And I guess like he was trying to get into the I feel like season two focuses a lot more on his plans to actually infiltrate um the principal office. Cause infected was him trying to get the core, and this was right. him trying to get the archives, which I think was also him trying to get the core. Right. And Bad Bob coming up next is also about the core. So it's kinda like they sw- they really switched from just the the well, he still wants to get to the supercomputer, but like season two is his like Hitting in that plan of trying to use the power of the core yes. to get to the supercomputer. Yeah, he has a bit more of a, uh, yeah, focus. focus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 as opposed to just being a jerk virus. Yeah. And we're kind of seeing that in play now. So mm-hmm. anyway, yeah, without further commentary. That's a, yeah, just standard, good, yeah, standard episode. Interesting. Yeah. But a neat one if you don't think too hard about what the user is thinking <laughs> while they're playing that game. So anyway, this has been the Reboot Review. I'm Robin. And I'm Katie. And uh, stay frosty. And they didn't say anything interesting, so I'm going to say don't be a lazy loser user.